This morning, I want to just share with us about the power of testimony. What is the power that is released when you and I share our testimony, our story, something that God has done? It may be small. It may be any kind of miracle. What happens when we share our testimony? But I want to just share five things, five insights we see in Scripture. Number one, when we testify, we magnify, glorify, and exalt the Lord. It's a way to magnify the Lord. It's a way to exalt the Lord. It's a way to make His name uh, known and His fame great. The Bible tells us here, give thanks to the Lord. How do you do it? One of the ways, make known His deeds among the people. The second thing, thing that happens when you and I testify is that we create a remembrance and a memorial when we testify. So when we testify, when we talk about it, it may have been something five years ago. It may have been something 10 years ago. It may be 20 years ago. But you are reminding yourself, hey, God's been good. Every time you bring up a, bring up a memory of God's works in your life, you're creating an environment of God's mercy, God's presence, and God's voice. It's the remembering, the memorial of those compassions, those mercies that never fail. Talk about this. Get them together. Anything, what God has done in your life, as occasion arises, hey, share this. Story is a great way to communicate what God said. Number three, what happens when we testify? The power of testimony. We inspire faith in others when we testify. When you tell somebody else what God has done in your life, faith rises up in their hearts. That God can do it for them if he's done it for you. Your testimony can lead other people to a personal encounter with Jesus Christ. You may have one story, but God can use that one story to bring an entire community, bring many people to a personal encounter with him. One story. Number four, we release a prophetic word declaring what God will do for others. Your testimony actually becomes a prophetic word. When you testify about Jesus, you are releasing prophecy. And then they grab a hold of it. God, if you did it for them, I receive it for me. So think about this. Your testimony causes a release of the spirit of prophecy for somebody else. Amen. So share your testimony. You never know. When you are sharing your testimony, what God did in your life to somebody, it can become a prophetic word. God saying, I'm going to do the same thing for you. It may not be in the exact same way, but a similar situation. God says, I'll sort it out for you. I'll heal you. I'll deliver you. I'll do it for you. So your testimony has the potential to become a prophetic word, to release the spirit of prophecy for somebody else. Last one. We overcome the enemy when we testify. Can you imagine every time you testify, you tell somebody else, or you just speak about the works of the Lord, you're stepping Upon the enemy. You are overcoming. The Bible says in Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord. Say so. What has he redeemed you from? What has he delivered you from? What has he rescued you from? How has he worked in your life? Let the redeemed of the Lord. Say so. Jesus said. You are my witnesses. We don't have the option to remain silent. We've got to tell what he's done in our lives. Go and tell everybody what the Lord has done for you and how great compassions he has had on you. Mm -hmm.